that to solve the more questions objective type suppose uh, we have given fx such that bracket x where bracket x we know greatest integer function greatest integer function greatest integer function then it is continuous at then this is continuous x is equals to bracket x denotes greatest integer function then it is continuous then f x is continuous at a one b two c one point five and d so at which point this is continuous you know at which point it is continuous you know very well now okay yes this was at c because c is the point which is non integral uh, and other points are integral point so as you know i have already told Bracket x is continuous at non-integral point. Bracket x is continuous at non-integral points. Is that clear? Okay. Now next one. Next question. The number of points at which f x. Is equals to one upon x minus bracket x is not continuous. Okay. Find the number of points. The next question is. Okay. The number of points. Question is the number of points. The number of points. The number of points at which the function at which the function function at which the function f x is equal to one upon x minus bracket x. Minus bracket x is not continuous. Is not continuous. Is that means you have to find the number of points at which this function f x is equals to one upon x minus bracket x is not continuous. Okay, the option. One eight point five, two two point five, or three point, or D none of these. So which one is the answer? And how to find? If you find x minus bracket x, the solution answer number D says. f x is equals to zero for each x belongs to z. When you find the value of x minus bracket x and x belongs to z, so her integer is the value zero. So f x one upon zero, which is not defined. So how you can say there is a, a continuous at a point? I mean, there is a point of continuity. That is discontinuous. Point of continuity. Okay. So all integers are point of discontinuity for this particular function. Did you get? Okay. Now next one. Okay.
fifty. Next question is. Fx is equal to tan x. Okay. We have given a function. Fx is equal to tan x. The function given by fx is equal to tan x is discontinuous on the set. Question is. Fx is equal to tan x. Is discontinuous at Fx is equal to tan x is discontinuous at on the set. Discontinuous on the set. First set A, B, C, and D. We have to write here set that is n pi n belongs to z. N pi for each n belongs to z. Second step is two n pi, two n pi for each n belongs to z. This is second step. Third step, two n plus one pi, two n plus one pi by two for each n belongs to z. And the fourth step is. And pi by two for each n belongs to z. And pi by two for each n belongs to z. Please note down the question also because these are the important questions. And maybe this is from this book, okay? So if you want, you can buy it. Blueprint, okay? Samadhan. Blueprint करके हैं. Fifteen hundred plus. Uh, multiple choice questions are there, okay? So please note it down. Option C is correct. Option C is correct. Why? Because this is odd multiple of pi by two, and tan x, tan x is under this continuum, uh, not defined, not defined. You can say and. Odd multiple of odd integral multiple of odd integral multiple of multiple of pi by two, and that's why odd integral multiple of pi by two, and that's why this is discontinuous at odd integral multiple of pi by two. Okay. Please. And see, I think you can solve. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, maybe in March there is subjective exam also. So you prepare for each and everything. Okay. Uh, Let f x is equal to one minus tan x upon f x is equal to one minus tan x upon four x minus five. Okay. X does not equal to five by four. And x belongs to zero to two pi. Open interval zero to pi by two. If the fx is continuous in zero to pi by two, then zero to pi by two. Open interval zero to pi by two. Then f four is equal. To, then f four f pi by four is equal. To. F pi by four is equal to one p one by two p minus one by two and p is minus one. Okay. 
So these are the options. First, you understand. Okay, f pi by four means what? This is the value of function. Now. This is the value of function. But can you find f pi by four directly? Tell me. Can you find f pi by four directly? No. Why? Because if if you put f x is equal to pi by two here, this is zero by zero. So we have to use the quantity f pi by four. This is nothing but what limit of the function extends to pi by four f of x. Because function is continuous, so f pi by four. This is nothing but one minus limit extends to pi by four. One minus tan x divided by four x minus pi. And you have to find the limit of this function. Then you will get the solution. Okay. So what is limit? You know the L hospital rule, everyone. Yes, you may know. Differentiate numerator and denominator separately. You will get pi by two one minus tan x. This is that is square x and divided by two. So you put x for pi by two. So that is square pi by two. Divided by four to six, uh, root two square and divided by minus six square x. Four this is minus two by four is minus one by two. So answer is minus one by option C is correct. Which option is correct? Option number C. This is minus one by two. This is correct. Clear? Okay. So note it down. Now next, if f x is equal to if f x is equal to f x is equal to f x is equal to root of four plus x minus two divided by x. X does not equal to zero. Does not equal to zero. Be continuous at x equal to zero. Be continuous at x is equal to zero. Then find the value of f zero. What is the value of f zero? Now find it. So what is the answer? X is equal to one by. Sorry, F zero is one by four. The same process you can do as as previous question. F zero is nothing but limit extends to zero. Square root of four plus x minus two upon x. You can find the limit. How do you find? You know very well. Okay. Is that clear? Multiplied by root of four plus x plus of two numerator and denominator, and you will get the answer. Okay. Now, next question is: If f x is equal to l n, if f x is equal to l n root of four plus x 
root of 4 plus x minus of 2 divided by x. This is the function, okay? Oh, fx is equal to ln 1 plus x. Sorry, Uda. fx is equal to ln. ln means law. You know very well, natural law. ln 1 plus ax minus ln 1 minus dx. 1 minus dx divided by x. x does not equal to 0. If f is continuous at f is fx is continuous at x is equal to 0, then find f0. Then find f0. This is also the same question. So please find it and give me the answer. If you you know very well f0 is what? f0 is limit x tends to 0 ln 1 plus ax minus ln 1 minus bx upon x. And f0 is nothing but this. But how to find the limit? Because if you put x is equal to 0 here, this is of the form 0 by 0. Okay, so we use L hospital rule. What is L hospital rule or L hospital law? Differentiate numerator and denominator separately. So limit x tends to 0, ln 1 plus ax, 1 upon 1 plus ax, and ax is a. You know the differentiation 1 minus bx into b minus bx and divided by 1. Now put x is equal to 0, you will get 1 upon 1 plus 0 a minus of 1 upon 1 plus 0 minus of b. So this is nothing but a plus b. So value of f0 this is nothing but a plus 